Okay, so I'm just still talking in general about a question I was asked about getting a diagnosis from a mental health professional and then uh, communicating with that m mental health professional but then just throwing back in your face, you know, that could be the diagnosis, talking. So you're not able to communicate, uh, you know, communi communicate honestly and authentically with where you're at. Uh, for me, there is the thing of like, and this is very similar to what I do with uh, medical doctors. And I, I mean, this is just my view, uh, is that everything is a belief system. Everything in this world is a belief system. So, um, however, I'm not against taking help from doctors or whatever, uh, but I'm, I'm very much against taking on belief systems and diagnosis. So if they've got something helpful, like a drug or something, I'll take that, but I will constantly clear any labels that they give me. Mm. But I'm actually quite interested to hear the labels that they give me. That, that's the funny, interesting thing. Like, you know, when I had, um, uh, very quickly, like when I had um, kidney failure and they gave me 13 medication and it went down to one eventually, like I'm interested to know what are their side effects of those medications so I can cancel them all. You know, because, uh, and, I, and also if they would give me a label, I'd want to cancel you know, God did not create that label, so it's not real. God did not create this archetypal belief system within the collective consciousness. So I want to cancel, so, like, you know, if people are like, you know, if people say you've got kidney failure, then I can, like, I can, I can find out all the labels attached to that, because all the labels will be the, the belief system for manifestation. Like, every, every, um, every, a label that you pick up is like an archetype or it's like, mm. a, like a little computer program with little sub-programs on it which express during time, which express during situations. So all of those beliefs, you know, with any uh, physical or mental label that they're given, as soon as you, and probably if people are saying you've got it, you pr all that means to me is that I picked up that from the collective, mm. you know, and so people are maybe giving me good feedback because I might be in denial. You know, because so uh, I go, okay, so this is the diagnosis. Now my job is once I get diagnoses, is to just cancel them until they don't exist in my consciousness and to feel out any feelings around that, you know, or if there was any stigma or if there was any sort of agitation. You know, like uh, if someone gave me a label I didn't like and feelings were coming up, I would sit with those feelings and feel them out and I'd be constantly cancelling um, the cancellations, um, I'll give you an example with Dr. Hawkins, like Dr. Hawkins had an illness that I had and he cancelled his and he let it go and I, I cancelled mine and I, I could really relate it, he was, from a, he was a medical doctor and an eminent psycho, uh, uh, psychoanalyst, Freudian psychoanalyst and um, so you know like gout is like you have high, so the medical thing is like they can test you've got high uric acid levels in your blood. So, I mean, cancelling gout is like the over overarching program. So, yeah, you definitely can cancel gout. But if you know, like, the key, key sub-parameters of that belief system, cancelling that is also going to aid the quickness in releasing that program. So, you know, like, I would cancel, cancel my belief in gout. Uh, I'm an infinite being. Uh, I cancel my belief in high uric, uric acid levels in my blood. I'm an infinite being. God did not create gout, so it's not real. God did not create high... Mm. So I'm cancelling this up. So, you know, if I went for a mental diagnosis and say, this is the overarching diagnosis, and you're going to have these characteristics being displayed in you, and in these situations, you're going to have these characteristics displayed, I would take a quick note of that and then, and then uh, start cancelling those. The other thing I would say with that is I'd only be going there... Uh, if there's a medication, like I took all my medications and cancelled them and I went down from 13 to 1. So you can just cancel, so I accept the positive nature of any medication they give, but I'll cancel the negative aspects, uh, the side effects until they, and, and what I found is, you know, nearly all the medications were released from me as you just keep cancelling and taking the positive effect of them. Now the other thing I do, uh, which I would suspect with doctors is the same with sort of uh, mental health professionals, is every time I go there, once I've got the key parameters that I want, is to keep cancelling everything they say. Because you get reprogrammed, you know, and as soon as you <coughs> project, as soon as the ego projects authority status onto any human being, 
your capacity to be programmed magnifies by about a thousand percent. So, like, if a if a if a if a if, some, if a homeless man says, uh, "I diagnose you as being mentally ill," I will. <laughs> that will probably. I might even be worried that I've taken that on board because you know it's like, okay. Don't ignore anything that that homeless person who's got a sort of a bit bottle of vodka in his hand sort of says to you. But as soon as you've got a doctor in a white coat with about 300 credentials and he's an expert in his, in his field and he says, I now diagnose you with this very serious condition, then it's like, you know, it's, it's also, he's also got the collective power of, of, of our greed projection that anyone with a white coat with credentials is an expert. So the power of that belief to pro you, you, do, you can't take it too lightly. So, as soon, so when I'm with my doctors, I'm like, I want to cancel continuously things they're saying, oh, and there's this study of how bad it can get, and there's that, and did you know how bad this is, and I feel sorry for you because you probably have only got this much time. So, you know, you don't want to take, you know, you know, you can take it on board to some extent, but you need to be very careful because you can be imprinted with this stuff uh, very, very quickly. I remember once um, Hawkins talking, you know, there, there was, um, you know, he talks about it in his books, you know, like uh, with hypnotherapists, and I'm a hypnotherapist myself. You know, you can just cancel a belief, let go of a belief in them, or tell someone, put them into hypnosis and say, you've got an allergy to roses. And then you can take them out, and then you can show them some artificial roses, and they'll have an allergic response. So it's that powerful. Um, what can be what can be done with the belief system? So, so you know, it's it's a it's a thing because I don't you know nothing in this world has the power to affect my infinite consciousness. Mm -hmm. But you know there is a I, it's not that I'm against any medical professionals. I'll take the help, but I'll cancel. I'll, but I'll be clearing everything uh, that comes in from beliefs and feelings. So that's what I would do.